Hi, today I'm going to show you how to enter expenses into your Xero software. So one reason um, that you might want to do this is for things that you've paid for from your petty cash. As we know, if we have the bank feed enabled in our software, then anything that comes through the bank will automatically import zero and we can very um, quickly and easily categorize those transactions direct um, from the bank feed um, as they come in, either categorizing them directly into the accounts or matching them to customer receipts or supplier um, payments. So that's great and, and um, really, really straightforward. But what about um, transactions that don't go through the bank account? As we know, every transaction needs to be included within the accounts to make sure that we get a full picture. So if, for example, you've used your petty cash, um, we need to, to, to know how to enter that um, transaction into the software. Another time that you might want to use this function is if you don't want to wait for the transaction to come through to the bank um, until that it's actually um, entered into your account. So much as we don't do it so, so much um, these days, an example would be if you make a payment with a check um, and uh, that can be quite, um, a, quite a lengthy process by the time the check arrives and then it goes through the bank procedure. So in that scenario it might be an example of where you want to actually enter the transaction into your accounts now and then once the transaction does come through the bank feed you can simply match it to the, to the um, manually entered transaction rather than categorising it. Um, so that's that's um, another reason why you when you want, why you want to use this um, function. So into our zero um, dashboard then. So we're going to let's imagine that we're going to enter a um, an expense. We've we've paid for some fuel with some um, petty cash, and now because that's not going to come through the bank feed. Uh, because we would have already accounted for the cash coming out the bank with the transfer, transferring it from the bank account to the petty cash account. Now, as that cash is spent, we want to account for that. So if we just pop along here to the quick launch button in our zero dashboard, and we're looking for the um, option to spend money. So the first thing that zero is asking us is, which bank account or where are you looking to spend the money from? And you will only be able to select the bank account so you can't um, go too wrong um, on this. So in this scenario, we're looking to spend some petty cash. So we select that one and then onto the next screen. So this is very um, much the same as you're used to. It's all familiar fields and we're just looking to say um, who we've spent the money to, when we spent it and what it was for. So I'm going to um, say that this is spent. Um, what I often um, recommend when you're um, paying for fuel or you're entering anything fuel related is rather than entering every individual fuel station as a supplier or a contact or a payee, whichever it may be um, called, is that we just have one called fuel station and everyone goes in there. So I've just added that because it's not already in there. Now you will have the receipt in front of you when you're entering um, and make sure that you change the date to the date that the transaction actually took place on, not the date that defaults to, which is today's date. That's particularly important if you've had the receipt for a little while before you get down to um, entering it. And then everything else is just what you're used to. So we're just filling in the categories of, um, of, of what we've spent. Um, if you're not, obviously, if you're not um, VAT registered, then you're not going to have that. If you are, you know what to do. Put the VAT rate and um, make sure the amount matches the amount on your receipt. And um, just to mention um, here as well that um, there is a function attached to Xero called HubDoc, where you can actually just snap a picture on your phone um, of your receipt, and that will um, help you to, to sort of generate this and also keep a record and a visual um, entry of the, of the receipt. So 
if you're um, looking to sort of do something a little bit different, that's something to look for. But uh, for now, we're just looking to enter everything manually. So if you've got a little stash and you've got some more to add on after this, you could collect, slip, um, select, save and add another. And that will save this one and take you to a new blank screen where you can uh, enter your next expense. But if we've just got this and um, we're just going to save it, and there we are that it has gone into the um into the accounts so hopefully that was a useful overview for you and you now understand where you need to go to, to and how you enter your um petty cash um expenses or in fact anything that hasn't gone through the bank account or you want to enter before the um item comes through the bank please thank you very much for watching take care